everyone welcome back to my channel I hope you're doing great I hope you're feeling fantastic no matter how you're doing just give thanks to God in all things let's give thanks to God and I hope that your situation gets better I hope that everything is going well for you thank you thank you thank you for coming back to my channel Aquaba welcome if you're new here thank you so much for stopping by and if you've been here before thank you for coming back to my channel how are you while you're here don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell so that the next time I upload a video which I'm going to try and be a little bit more consistent you will be the first to know you will be the first to know the first to know the first to know you will be the first to know that I uploaded a video I told you I'm a little bit dramatic imagination is working over time welcome 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 Aquaba so today's topic is about manhole versus biofill or biogas so manhole is a septic tank or sewage where waste is stored most people in Ghana or Africa knows what a manhole is so that is when you flush the toilet the sink you know when you wash in the bathtub all the waste goes into the manhole manhole is very common in Ghana um, however you know we have biofuel now and biogas actually biogas has been around for uh, some quite some time probably about 10 years or more I'm not sure I'm not a hundred sure don't quote me on it Google it do your own research I'm just here to share my knowledge and my experience with you okay so biogas has been around for quite some time but in most homes in Ghana it's not that common but that think that is the best route to go so biogas takes small space you know to to construct and um, it's much better than manhole so manhole usually gets full about five to ten years depending on how many people live in the household and how many times the toilet is flushed and how much waste is accumulated in the manhole so now let me explain a little bit about what biogas and biofill is okay. So biogas or biofill is so it is a new modern toilet technology. It is a small enclosed chamber that replaces the septic tank or manhole. All right. So according to my research, and I'll try and find the link below. So the biofill digester is an aerobic decomposition system. It treats toilet waste and the flushed water in the chamber. It also breaks down the toilet waste completely with oxygen in a way that the odor is not generated so most homes in Ghana have manholes but as we get better with technology we will move from manholes to biofuel or biogas so you decide what you want maybe in the future you may want to decide about um, having a manhole or having a uh, biofuel or biogas at your house or site at my site I have a manhole and it's not that I wanted a manhole I knew about biogas around that time however remember I told you the story about someone building on my site until I went and leveled that construction down so that person actually dug a big hole for the manhole that person had already made the provision for the manhole so I had really no choice but to stick with it you know um, the damage was already done space so in my case my manhole is huge with three chambers you know chamber one chamber two chamber three where the first one flows to the other and then to the other and then soak away and then it'll probably take about seven to ten years because before it get full a big shark comes and suck that shit out of the ground you know if you live in Ghana you have seen this at least once in your lifetime and so in my case I can really still go with biogas if I want to or the manhole is only already done 
but so weighing the cost and benefit i think um right now deciding to keep the manhole versus having a biogas or biofuel it's not too late to still have a biogas constructed so i don't know most likely i probably will change however it takes a long time for that to build up so the more people live in the house the more the toilet is flush the more waste is built up and is generated into gas the sooner you will enjoy the benefit of the biogas so biogas or biofuel is the new biogas is very similar to biofuel biogas the production of gas is used for cooking also, the key difference between this system and a traditional septic tank is the size of the digester and also the rapid drainage of water from the waste product. So, the biodigester toilets are economical toilets made from organic substance and guarantees to last up to 15 to 20 years before pulling. It is far cheaper than having a septic tank. Also, the key difference between the two, um, biogas and biofuel, is that biofuel does not produce gas. Biogas, um, on the other hand, produces gas. It turns the feces into gas and, uh, and, um, as time goes by, once you have a lot of um, feces accumulated. So um, to get a biogas is more expensive, it's more costly than the bio. Um, fail, but both are not um, too bad depending on your pocket size. They are actually far cheaper than having a septic tank. So um, you just have to decide which is best for you and your family or for your site. Now, as you can see in the video, the construction of the biofuel or biogas, actually the biogas is coming to completion and it looks circular in form. It doesn't really take that much time to construct. I believe within a few days, two days or so, um, it can be um, completed and um, is cost effective. It's much, much more cheaper than having a septic tank um, constructed, which takes so much land space. So if you're interested or want more information on uh, the construction of biogas or biofuel, which is the new way to go if you ask me, leave a comment and I can consult Kwame for you. Kwame and his team, um, the video that you see, you're looking at right now, it was constructed by Kwame and his team. So let me know and uh, I can refer you to him for more information. What are some of the benefits of biofuel? Digester is cheaper than the conventional septic tank. No operating cost. Requires very little land. Water can be reused for landscaping. Environmental health impact. Sludge is decomposed appropriately. The system eliminates water and air contamination. I have to read this one to you. So the digester reduces greenhouse gas emissions as methane is not released directly into the atmosphere. Waste is treated under aerobic condition. Human health benefit. Prevention of diseases as there is no direct contact with the extractor. It promotes good sanitation practices. It is fabricated from local materials. Reduces the risk of dumping untreated waste into the environment. Sustainability. Easy to build and quick to install. Do not require heavy equipment. Excavation is optimal. Meets the needs of all users or groups. If used appropriately, is of zero cost. Biofuel is suitable for everyone. Before you go, Make sure that you subscribe to my channel and click on the bell so that the next time I upload a video, you will be the first to know, the first to know, the first to know. You will be the first to know that I uploaded a video. So this is all I have for you today. Thank you for tuning in. Until next time, medasi. Bye.